friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to talk about intermittent fasting and we start slowly, we start with introduction and the video will be structured in, in a way that you understand first what's the difference between fasting and starvation. The second I will discuss quickly what um, minerals, vitamins and approaches you need to um, follow to establish successful intermittent fasting and then I will talk about benefits and how we slowly start and maintain it and we discuss other things. So please stick around and uh, we will tackle bit by bit of that uh, fascinating phenomenon. Also, I would like to remind this video one of many under umbrella. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a guy that's reading a lot of uh, latest research and interpreting it and making sure that I'll, make, I'll, I'll, I'll help people stay healthy and happy and avoid a visit to doctors because doctors are diagnosed problems and they give us medication. They're not uh, and not sure fixing the problem with smart people, but the part of the whole system that I already created video about, I don't want to talk about now. Let's talk about intermittent fasting. So um, intermittent fasting, it's a state where we're temporarily not consuming any calories. And what it does to our body, it starts all recycling process within our body. Uh, on a cellular level and in, in a, in a, inside the gut, inside the brain, literally everywhere. And because it's not what many of us used to do before, when you slowly go into intermittent fasting, otherwise we'll end up with side effects and we don't want side effects. So first of all, if you used to have a lot of carbohydrates in your diet, a lot of sugars, those are things to go before we start intermittent fasting, you cannot go from carbohydrate diet to intermittent fasting. And the reason is that is you can go, you can force your body, but it will retaliate. So the reason is that because you consume carbohydrates, it spikes, spikes blood sugar, and uh, that sugar is a glucose used for energy and what's not used, stored with insulin as a fat, right? So your body expects glucose as a source of energy. When you fast in a whole beginning of the benefits of fasting, it's a force your body to use its natural source of energy, which is fat oxidation and then formation of ketone bodies, right? It's a steady source. It does not spike insulin. It actually, our body likes steady energy. So first thing to do is to reduce amount of car carbohydrates to use. And if you are sweet tooth, um, I'll post in the, in the link down below, there are a couple of sweeteners that not only not spiking your uh, insulin uh, and, and, and reducing glucose in the blood, they're also good for gut bacteria. Not every single uh, sugar replacement is good for gut bacteria. They're all replacing sugar, but not all of them are uh, gut bacteria uh, friendly. So I'll post down below a link for, to monk fruit and erythritol. You can also use stevia, but in Australia, it's really hard to find stevia, 100% uh, stevia. Last time I bought uh, stevia in a supermarket, I think Woolworths or Coles, and I bought a uh, quite reputable uh, brand. It was 99% erythritol. So save your money, buy erythritol from uh, non-GMO, original source and don't buy something that labeled stevia but it's not so got either monk fruit or erythritol as a, 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 a for sweet taste or sugar replacements and we're also reducing carbohydrates uh, another one is you can help to ease your fasting um, uh, by introducing medium chain triglyceride oil or mct oil uh, that all bypasses entire digestion system, goes straight to liver and will uh, um, ask liver to produce ketone bodies. And if your um, body is um, 
almost glucose deprived or low on glucose it will be your immediate source of energy so you won't miss anything you won't get headaches you will get adapted quite quick i put link in down below for mct oil that i'm using make sure that uh, mct has six eight or ten chains and a carbon chain right because otherwise it's not medium chain um a chain is most uh, beneficial but six and ten would do as a percentage so mct oil link down description below right it will help you with ketone bodies right then when you're fasting you do need a little bit of stimulant initially and this stimulant is coffee drink away coffee drink it without milk without sugar you can add sweetener i still recommend you not to do so but if you'd like that taste as well as stimulation of the coffee um, add the erythritol monk fruit drink coffee without milk please don't add any fats as well no butter no uh, coconuts or anything when you're fasting and when you're not fasting you can do so so i'll put coffee that i use be uh, down below in the video description as well another thing that can help you with fasting is to lower blood glucose level from the beginning and also maintain good gut bacteria uh, through better digestion and nothing is better than apple cider vinegar make sure that you use good brand make sure it's unpasteurized unfiltered because two of those will kill all beneficial bacteria and apple cider vinegar those that actually are working for you use apple cider vinegar first thing when you get up in the morning to reduce your blood sugar because the way we wake up we throw in cortisol in the bloodstream that will suppress melatonin and cortisol will result in glucose elevation so you'd like to bring the glucose level down and um, apple cider vinegar first thing in the morning great and also before going to sleep and reason is that because it will help your gut to digest proteins better overnight so your gut will actually will restore many functions and not getting um, hard work on, on on what's in the stomach so uh, apple cider vinegar in the in the morning first thing and last thing at night i put link down below there's a on a couple of good repeatable brands that use uh, organic apples that unfilter and pasteurize their products they're proven one of them link below also uh, there's nothing better during the fast than electrolytes electrolytes as many minerals combined but there's a three minerals that usually people are lacking and it's not laughing matter because it will manifest in fatigue if you low on electrolytes i would not recommend using commercial electrolytes make your own and three portions that you or minerals you need to use in your electrolytes that you need to be aware is sodium or salt magnesium and potassium I know that you say, oh, I've got enough salt in my diet. Great, but you need to use good quality of salt. Use sea salt or Himalayan salt. Um, it's very cheap Himalayan salt on eBay. I put a uh, link down below as well. Um, potassium is really hard to get from diet. I already created a video on it. I'll put link down below as well. But there's a potassium really cheap on Amazon. Buy a kilo of potassium and use uh, between you know quarter of the teaspoon to whole spoon depends on your uh, diet and lifestyle day and you it will be more than enough potassium for your electrolytes magnesium is a little bit more tricky there's a seven or eight main types of magnesium and magnesium is really hard to make sure that body absorb so i would say use one tablet of magnesium in the morning and i put link down below which magnesium specifically to use it should be chelated magnesium so your body won't chelate it right it's a biological process i want to talk about this just trust me uh, uh there's a one and, and link down below and then night time uh only one magnesium proven to relax you and help your melatonin to rise and relax muscles so you can go into sleep it's magnesium glycinate I'll put link down below as well so it's important to take one in the morning and one in the evening they've got totally different functions one will help you to sustain a day another one will help you to relax and go to sleep will also help you sleep uh, at night time so and drink a lot of water because electrolytes do not work without water 
coffee will dehydrate you tea is great but still has caffeine drink a lot of water with your electrolytes and when you're fasting your kidneys will excrete more minerals so you do need those minerals in your diet when you're fasting so those are little things to consider when you're intermittent fasting and that's the difference between fasting and starving I really want to make sure that you understand and I will touch on it uh, about it in a second but also when you're fasting your body goes in a tiny bit of shock that's what we want to do but um, and that transition period your immune system could be compromised I put in the link down below a couple of vitamins and minerals that I think would help you not to drop in your immunity level one of the would be vitamin C just remember vitamin C it's a tricky one more doesn't mean better because we cannot absorb it so I put 500 ml tablets which is small ones but if you take them a couple of times a day your body will have vitamin C in it if you take one big dose the vitamin C half-life is two hours that means in four hours you'll be out of vitamin C in your body so space it during the day also put uh, vitamin D vitamin D is actual not vitamin it's a hormone it's a must one it's most important Important one and also will help you to get calcium from a bloodstream into your bone structure it's really important also it I put I already created a video on vitamin D vitamin D responsible for at least 5% DNA manipulation in the human body if you deficient vitamin D all sorts of nasty things will happen so uh, um, consume vitamin D at least 4,000 international units or I use a day right and the zinc the zinc is most important mineral uh, it will help you with many things don't want to touch on it so let's talk about intermittent fasting where you start so you start with something that is really simple it's called 16 8 in the simple terms 16 hours of not eating and eight hours of eating 16 hours of not eating means you can consume water you can consume almost every single non-caloric drink mind you coffee and apple cider vinegar has a couple of calories but the way body takes and metabolizes them they actually not uh, counted towards like what people call breaking fast so they are, they are okay so let's talk about fasting why would do we need to fast what's the difference between fasting and starvation starvation means when your body runs on glucose and expects it for energy you're not giving it and you're going hungry hungry is because your fuel source is wrong to stabilize fuel source you do need to function a little bit on ketones and when you intermittent fasting your body forced to to work on ketones so around four to six hours before you start fasting have between teaspoon to tablespoon of mct oil and your ketone bodies will ensure that you're not going to starve during the 16 hours so intermittent fasting does promote uh, blood uh, sugar uh, um, levels and it's through not introduction of carbohydrates right and ketones maintain that um, happy medium there yes you may disrupt it with stress and other things but it's not part of this video right so it's it promotes better health by fighting inflammation inflammation is important people don't see inflammation they need to fight it all the time because when we're getting sick uh, the way that body tre uh, uh, fixes thing it actually creates inflammation and rises temperature and, and kills those bacteria microbes pathogens and all that is a different video but what's the problem it's a chronic inflammation it's not temporary so intermittent fasting fights that permanent inflammation and and the reserves to only temporary when it's required and once it's required it's much more efficient right so intermittent fasting does boost brain function in which way our brain is very sensitive to glucose level and if glucose goes up and down up and down brain doesn't like it and people end up uh, getting what called age-related diseases one of them would be Alzheimer's right so intermittent fasting create a steady uh, blood glucose and brain loves it absolutely loves it um, 
surprise surprise as a preserving function of the body during fasting body will create more human growth hormone that's what everyone wants this is why when we're exercising mind you not vigorous exercise just normal steady exercise it's most beneficial at the fasted state because there's a more human growth hormone on the body all right and it's helping aging and longevity the reason is that is when body is at fasting state it's going to recycle um, uh, broken cells and broken dna and all of that so all the cleanup process will extend longevity and longevity again i remind you it's not living longer it's living better quality life right then it's also it's a very controversial one but please hear me out it does aid cancer prevention and cancer treatment i already created a video on the cancer please have a look it's not about treating cancer and when people get in treated cancer uh cancer loves glucose and sugar so when you fast and your glucose level and sugar levels naturally down so whatever cancer process is happening in the body cancer hates lack of glucose right so please starve it so here you go those are benefits of fasting today we we're talking about 16 8 8 bit of fasting 16 hours not eating eight hours uh, eating um when i mean eating to make sure that you're not starving right you actually fast and you need to eat healthy and eating healthy no such thing healthy relates to people you need to eat nutritious food and those eight hours don't give body anything empty give food that full of minerals vitamins and everything else and this video is not about prescribing what to eat just think what you eat and if it does not have any nutrition benefit just don't eat it all right have a variety of different uh, food but from uh, what you need to eat is very low carbohydrates um, 25 to 40 percent of proteins and hopefully rest of it of healthy fats don't need any trans fat or hydro generated vegetable oils by the way there's no such thing vegetable oil vegetables don't have oils uh, most of the vegetable oils are from flour and other nasty things so don't use them use only natural good fats right so and no snacking the reason is that because every time you snack it will spike your um, insulin we don't want insulin activity at all so when you eat try to eat nutritious and uh, and um, nutritious dense food right mostly fats and uh, some proteins right hydration is really important during fasting so drink well and drink things that they are non calorie right so those are coffee in teas and make sure that you drink water and electrolytes because electrolytes do not work without water that's why i name electrolyte they all interact with water to positively or negatively get in charge and that will create energy in your uh, in your muscles and for uh for better energy content um the the reason why i would like it to eat more fat because when you eat fat it doesn't make you fat basically fat will be broken into ketone bodies and when you run out of fat in the bloodstream body will will be forced to get it from your stored fat and that's the side effect of intermittent fasting it's actually losing weight and i don't recommend intermittent fast to lose weight but you know what if it's your goal it's one of those side effects uh you um you uh face when you're fasting so while fasting if you train your body to actually utilize fats you you will see that you eat less and you'll be less hungry it's a phenomenal it's actually a really good feeling it should it should um um i don't know inspire you to do more because for example last time i've eaten was uh 18 hours ago and i'm still not hungry i just drank my morning coffee with erythritol and um, i feel energized i don't feel anything because everything that is stored in my body now used as energy source so i don't have those spikes i really feel good about it now and I, you know what as another side effect you got better brain function but i already discussed it important thing in intermittent fasting to remember 
that fasting should be intermittent. If you really create the pattern of not eating 16 hours and eating 8, your body will adapt. The whole idea of intermittent fasting is element of surprise. So you may do it for 5 days and not do it for 2. Or if you already move into next stage, it's, you may combine uh, fasting 16-8 with uh, so-called 5-2 or um, alternate day fasting and other methods, but it will be different video on that. Start with 16-8. If 16 hours is still uh, uh, too much for you, if you're coming from total carbohydrate diet and it's really hard to start not eating 16 hours, um, start with like 12-12, um, then 14, you know, 10, and then 16-8. And then you know what? You may push it to uh 18 6 and even what i do is 24 um there's no right or wrong way to do fasting do not do it exactly on the clock surprise your body every time the longer you don't eat the more benefits are the benefits start uh from 14 hours not eating and most of the benefits occur between one to two full days of not eating until seven days of not eating this is where benefits getting diminished but i create separate video on that please let me know if you like this video and if you're new to my channel please like subscribe hit that bell button so you won't miss any of my future videos i'll see you next time around greg from brisbane